You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rude Rance for Black and White Sports. Well, we know the big breaking news is Deshaun Watson is going to be a Cleveland Brown for $230 million large. Fully guaranteed. Wow. Wow. Uh, to hell with morals and values on your football team. Look, for a split second earlier in the week, I heard something about the Niners and Deshaun Watson, and all of a sudden I became a big Trey Lance fan. <laughs> Y'all know how I feel about that. Well, yeah. So, by the way, Jimmy Garoppolo, you are officially finally on the clock in San Francisco. Well, there is a reason why Skip Bayless is the GOAT. GOAT of morning debate. There was a reason why ESPN pursued him again to go on first take and was even floating the idea of letting him stay on Undisputed on the rival Fox channel and still show up with Stephen A. Smith because Skip Bayless is the GOAT. Doesn't hold nothing back. Tends to be very vocal, and he has done so today. Now, as you guys know, Skip Bayless is a big Baker Mayfield fan. Maybe not in the same way that Skip was a fan of Tim Tebow, but you get the point. He is a big Baker Mayfield fan. And look, let's be real. Baker did take the Cleveland Browns to a playoff. Baker Mayfield's not a bad quarterback. Um, I'll be the first to tell you, from strictly a quarterbacking standpoint, yeah, I've got Deshaun Watson rated higher on my list. I do. But there are intangible things I want out of a quarterback, like not having 22 civil lawsuits pending against them. Yeah, that's a thing, and that is part, of my, in my opinion, of being a, fran a good franchise quarterback. By the way, all you Cleveland Browns fans that ran your mouth about Big Ben all these years, good luck getting yourself out of that box because, oops, <laughs> funny how shit comes around on you. Well, anyway, so there was a comment made from the Cleveland Browns this week about Baker Mayfield and the fact that they were looking for somebody that was more adult in the room. Well... Congratulations, because Skip Bayless has dropped two bombshells out there. Number one, he tells you exactly how he feels about the Browns in that comment. And he dropped another little tidbit out there that's very interesting. Because you guys remember just a couple of days ago, Deshaun Watson saying, Nah, I'm not playing for the Cleveland Browns. And then Skip Bayless said, Oh, what? ESPN reports Deshaun Watson is now willing to play for the Browns after he said no to them. That has to mean his other options were off the table. The New Orleans Saints, for sure, were wavering. Other teams bowed out because of the 22 civil suits still pending against Deshaun. Huh. Interesting. Deshaun Watson may have decided to go to the Browns because it's possible that the other doors that were open actually slammed shut on Deshaun before it was all said and done. That is from Skip Bayless. Now, also from Skip Bayless, here's the irony, and he's not wrong. The Browns wanted a, quote, adult at quarterback. So they acquired a new face of the franchise who faces 22 civil suits from women accusing him of everything from misconduct to assault. And the GOAT, Skip Bayless, is not wrong. He is not wrong in making these comments about Deshaun Watson and saying, what are you talking about, Cleveland Browns? You're saying Baker Mayfield is not the adult in the room, but you just got to, uh, uh, you're bringing in a guy that still has 22 civil lawsuits against them. Not one, not two, not three, 22. I've said before, I'll say it again. I don't give a shit how these lawsuits turn out. Deshaun Watson, no matter what, obviously has 
some kind of a problem that is a serial problem, doing it over and over and over again. Something's not right there, okay? And this is your franchise quarterback. There was a reason I left him off my quarterback list last year. Wouldn't want him quarterback in my team, okay? I mean, can you imagine Tom Brady, Peyton Manning? I mean, just think about all the different guys. Yeah. So that's a thing. And it's interesting that Skip Bayless stepped in and said, well, it's pretty obvious all the other teams dropped out, and he knows for sure that the Saints were having some serious issues about this. Well, although Jameis may be welcome back in the building, so, eh, you get the point. The NFL, I mean, the National Felon League, or in this case, I guess, borderline felon? I mean, who knows? Oh, Watson fans are going to be mad. They're going to be furious. Well, you may be furious, but let me leave you with this. There you go. There is a shot of Deshaun Watson in his new jersey. (laughs) Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.